Are you ready to launch your own home healthcare agency and become a successful business owner? Today, I'm excited to announce the launch of our new home healthcare startup program designed to help aspiring entrepreneurs enter the industry and thrive. I'm Carl Pierre, founder of Passive Workforce, where we've already helped over 100 people launch their nursing agencies. With years of experience starting from nursing agencies and transitioning into home care, I'm now sharing everything that I know about the industry to support those interested in the home healthcare track. In this video, I'll break down my experience, how the program is structured, and what's next. My journey in healthcare entrepreneurship began with launching a nursing agency, and I quickly saw how home health care was the next step in providing comprehensive care. I've navigated the complexities of starting and scaling these businesses, and now want to pass on that knowledge. From staffing challenges to compliance, I've faced every obstacle and learned what it takes to build a profitable and sustainable business. When my mother set out to start out our nursing agency, we initially started staffing skilled nursing facilities and nursing homes. And what that did was give us a really good foundation and understanding of how to onboard and recruit staff, how to manage payroll, and really just run the day-to-day -day of a business. Now, when you think about home health care as a general industry, half of the work that you do is going to be concentrated on managing personnel and the people. The other half of the business is focused on patient care. So after we got our footing and a good understanding on how to manage the people side of things, the natural progression seemed like moving into the clinical side of things where we're now managing the lives of patients. Now, when we got started, I gotta say it was quite a crazy experience because it took us four years to get licensed. And the reason it took us so long was because we did everything by ourselves. We started that process in the 1990s and actually got licensed in 2001. And it took us a total of four years from start to end. Again, back in those days, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have all the tools that are available to you guys where we could learn from. We had to figure it out through trial and error. And believe me, it really slows you down. Now, the next thing is that when we got into the business, we didn't know anything about it mainly because we didn't have any guidance. And because of that, I really wanna make sure that other people who go down the same avenue have the resources that we didn't have so that you're able to achieve more quicker. In the entire time that we were getting going, there was more and more evidence that the home care industry was poised for growth. The aging population continued, more nursing homes were getting built, more assisted living facilities were getting built, and all these pointed to the reality that America is aging and more and more people need this type of service. It's estimated that the amount of people that are gonna require home healthcare services is about to double as soon as 2030. And that trend is going to continue as our population ages. And now it's time to help other people get started on this path so that we can address the needs of our community. Our home healthcare startup program is structured to guide you step-by-step -step through the process of building your own agency. We've broken down the course into three core modules, companion care, non-skilled home care or personal care, and skilled home health care. Each module is packed with detailed insights on compliance, operations, and scaling the business. For those of you who aren't so familiar with home care, you have to look at it as being a few different parts. Companion care is kind of the most basic sort of home care services that you could provide. This is you sending a caregiver to the home of a patient, but really to just a system with light housekeeping, running errands, and everything up until the point where they have to make contact with the patient. They can't help them get dressed. They can't uh, do any sort of treatments. It's all about being more or less like a friend that is hands off. Companion care, fortunately in many states, isn't regulated. So you're able to start one of these companion care businesses without getting a license. But again, you have to check your state regulations to make sure that the sort of service that you're gonna provide doesn't require licensing. But this is usually where a lot of agencies start. The next step up is home care. And I know the terminology sounds the same, but home care is where personal care starts. This is where you start to actually get physical with the patients. This is doing transfers from the bed, helping patients get dressed, bathing, oral care. You might be changing catheters and that sort of thing, um, ostomy bags, et cetera. So now that there's this physical component and there's more kind of involved and more risk to the patient, it falls into this home care or personal care sort of area. And again, in most states, 
this is a regulated slice of the home care industry because, again, patients are now at risk because it's that physical contact. The next step up from there is skilled home health care. This is skilled nursing for things like wound care, patient education, medication pre-pours, physical therapy for rehabilitation at the home, occupational therapy, speech therapy, maybe for someone who just had a stroke or even children that need some assistance with developing those skills. And this sort of service is really meant to help people transition from a major event like a hospitalization back into the home and recover and heal. So what we generally see is that people start with companion care and as they're pursuing the more advanced care, they build those experience points with the entry level or the mid level before going to the more complex care. And our program is designed to help you follow that exact track. So if you just wanna do companion care, you can register for the companion care track. And if you wanna do skilled, you're automatically gonna register for tracks one, two, and three. This program is built to address all the key elements that you need to know, whether you're starting from scratch or looking to expand your current business. At Passive Workforce, our goal is to help healthcare entrepreneurs not only start their businesses, but also grow and eventually exit successfully, whether you're exiting through a sale or to a management team that you've set up. Over the years, we've helped more than 100 people launch their nursing agencies, and it became clear that expanding our support to include home care was the next natural step. The reason why I thought that it was the next natural step is because that's how it was when I entered the business. We started our nursing agency to address the shortages that existed within the skilled nursing and hospital settings. And then we wanted to get a little deeper into the business where we started to provide direct care. We looked at it as an opportunity to build a recurring book of business because a lot of the personal care clients are with you more or less for life. And we wanted to have more decision-making authority in the care that we provided to our patients. So when I am talking to nursing agency owners, a lot of people usually come to me because they know that I've already built out a eight-figure home care agency. They come to me and say, I wanna do what you do. And I say, you know what? It's probably best that you start with medical staffing because it's only concentrated on the personnel side. And once you've gotten the mechanics of hiring people, firing people, managing a team, scheduling, payroll, etc., then you could start thinking about the other side where clinical care starts to get involved. And if you're going to bypass that step, then I always recommend start first with companion care because you're not going to have to deal with all of the clinical portions of things. And it's, it's more or less the same as really managing a workforce and going out there and securing clients. So I always think that's like a good starting point. And after being asked so much about how I did it, it became clear to me, especially at our last seminar, that people are really interested in the home care track. And I wanted to be able to produce something that addresses the wants of the audience that we serve. Now we're here to support those looking to enter the home health care industry with the same level of guidance providing the tools and knowledge needed to thrive, just as we have with the medical staffing agencies. If you're ready to take the next step and build a successful home healthcare agency, visit our website, PassiveWorkforce.com to register for our home healthcare startup program. We're dedicated to helping you navigate the entire journey from start to scale. Learn from someone who's already done it, and let's build this business that creates both impact and success. You can also join our community of healthcare entrepreneurs and take control of your future so that you can build the business of your dreams. Thank you.